See, inside the rear of this filter housing, you need to empty this. Look at all of that. Filters, because this is the reason these Dysons pulse, and this is normally the most common issue. So we're gonna remove the top filter, and we're also gonna remove the rear filter. As always, if you've seen any of my other videos, the trusty bread knife. What we're gonna do with the bread knife, is we're gonna slide it into the back of the filter housing here, and we're gonna remove the rear filter and the front filter to stop this Dyson from pulsing. All we're gonna do, is slide it in, literally a click with just a little bit of force, and it should just unpop. There we go. And you might think to yourself, why do you need to remove the rear filter? Well, That's the dust you get in the rear filter housing. We're gonna clean that out in a second with a paintbrush, uh, just a dry brush. It's the only two things you're gonna need here. And as you can see, inside the rear of this filter housing, it is absolutely filthy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this filter out and we're gonna rinse this out in antibacterial water and we're gonna wait for that to dry. So we'll do that in a minute. So with the top filter, you might, I've washed one of these under the tap before, but if you've seen any of my other videos, that doesn't work because these clog up on the inside and you can't clean them from the outside. So with your butter knife, again, what we're going to do is just slip it under here and we're just gonna unclip this top edge. Once you unclip one of these little clips, you can then remove the sock See there, we've got one off. Now as we work around, we can pop the other one off. And if you've seen any of the previous videos of my Dyson repairs, you'll see how much junk just comes out of these. You ready? This is why you need to empty this. Look at all of that. There you go. That's the reason you need to clean both filters on these. As you can see, look at this. There is no way you're going to clean that out with just rinsing this under the tap. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> right, we'll get to that in a minute. We're going to give that all a good wash. We can rinse this under the tap as well. Like I say, I've got the upgrade for that coming, where we convert it to a HEPA filter. What we're gonna do with the back of the Dyson, dry brush. Pull up. Right. Now see in the back of there, that's a lot cleaner. Oof. So much dust came out of that internal filter. Right, we are back after giving everything a good clean. You can really see the difference inside here. You see that's all white now. It's all nice and clean. So that is actually really clean down inside. I don't know if you can see inside there, but that's really clean. So start with clipping the filter back together, slide the sock back over the, the, the cage, and we just click those three in. And there we go, that's the filter fixed. I've got a dry one here, so we can uh, run through a dry one rather than putting the wet bomb back in. I've dried everything else, but... So, rear filter, again, all cleaned. No dust in there now. That just goes back inside the housing here. If you're finding this video useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because we do lots of repair videos, not just Dysons, do Sharks, Makita, and other things. We find things, we fix them, we restore them, and we build them. So there's the uh, rear filter housing. That can go back on the machine now. It's all clean in there as well. All you do is put it on the right way around, put it on and give it a push until it clicks in. That's the rear housing on. Get to check out my other videos where I show you more on the Dyson V6, V7, V8, uh, brush bar repairs, unit repairs, battery replacements, 
go check my channel out because it's all on there for the Dyson. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.